this is me and welcome back to another video. So today I thought I'd do a little bit of a Duke update right on cue mickey and duke here have come to say hello um, if you guys didn't know duke is my um pony that i rehomed from wild horse welfare so if you haven't seen the video where i introduced him we've actually had him what nine months now that's actually quite wild um but in that video it told, tells his whole story about why he was rehomed he is oh no he's no duke Duke here because he is coming up to too soon. Um, he's getting a little bit nibbly at the moment and wants to get his face in the camera. <laughs> oh gosh. So if you couldn't tell, Duke has very much come out of his shell recently. Um, he decided to go right up to the camera and give it a bit of a nibble. So um, today I thought I'd do some groundwork with him. I haven't done it for a while. I actually did some with him a week ago since I've come back from my travels just before the Pony Mag photo shoot and he was actually really well behaved. So I thought I'd do a bit more desensitization training with him. Obviously he is only coming up to, he's a rising two year old. So I'm not doing a huge amount with him again because he is a baby he needs to live his baby life oh you sniffing my boots but of course everything is very new and very interesting to him so I thought it'd be really nice to do a bit of a chat have you just untied my shoelaces oh my goodness Duke Duke you can't just go and untie my shoelaces he he he's really found his personality guys oh my goodness so I thought it'd be good to do some groundwork give him a groom and give you guys a little bit of an update on how he's doing and he's doing very well he, yep, Duke, that is the, that is the camera. <laughs> that is the camera, you cannot eat it. All right, we've moved locations so the horses can't go up to the camera and start licking it. Hey, licky boy. But anyway, you might be wondering why the fields are looking a little worse for wear at the moment. We've just come out of winter and in spring so far in the UK, we have barely had any rain over here. It might actually rain today. We're currently in sort of a drought period. I also need to do some poo picking and uh, Duke here is having a bit of a scratch. Don't worry, mate, I'll give you a groom in a second. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's why the fields are looking a bit dry, but also Mickey and Duke, or Mickey and Duke, are both actually very high risk of getting laminitis. So we have to be really careful about giving them fresh grass. We have been saving some fields down the bottom over the winter for the summer. So you never know, they might get moved, but they're actually both doing really well in this paddock at the moment but anyway i'm gonna go and grab duke's head collar get him in and give him a bit of a groom oh mickey you tired you a tired boy and then yes you want attention as well oh my goodness i'm getting i'm getting love from all angles oh no no chewing no chewing hello hello mickey you're such a vocal pony and you too duke hello Okay, excuse moi Thank you. Oh, okay, they're coming around this side. Now, Duke is a little nibbly at the moment. He just wants to chew on everything, including his head collar. So I've got to be, no, you don't put that in your, no, you don't put that in your mouth. You've got to be quick, there we go. Mickey, I'm just putting his head collar on, okay? You want to sniff about and see what's happening, don't you guys? Mm-hmm. Mickey, <laughs> you're like, not crushing Duke, but you don't really understand personal space, do you, boy? Okay. Can we get you to back up a little bit, please? Back, back. Back, back. There we go. So I need to lead Duke through. Good man. Good walking. Nice and calm as well. Yeah. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I forgot that when I film with Duke, I always have to crouch. If not, we're not really on the same level. And sometimes like in photos and things, I'll take a selfie and I'll be crouching. People will be like, are you standing up? Is Duke grown? No, he's still about 10 hands. So, but a lot of people have been asking me like what breed he is. A lot of people, especially over the winter, assumed that he was a Shetland. He's not, he's a Welsh mountain pony. So he's sort of like a miniature, mongrelly well he's from Royal horse welfare so we're not 100 percent sure what his breed is but he definitely looks like he's got some welsh in him just a a, a pint-sized version a smaller version um but anyway now he's losing his winter coat he does look really different when i duke that is my grooming kit you cannot leave baby horses unattended for two seconds can i no 
Anyway, as I was saying, when I came back from my travels, I posted a picture of Duke and so many people messaged me being like, are you sure that's Duke? He looks completely different. He looks more like a small horse rather than a little fluff ball now. Um, apart from the, the mane, the mane is still very poofy, very cute, very fluffy. But if we look underneath, he, he's like a He's like just a very small horse. So anyway, I've got my shedding blade because he is molting or shedding. So I'm gonna give him a good groom and he should look really nice. You can see all the little baby hairs coming out. To be fair, it's almost all gone his winter fluff. There are still some little bits, but he looks very smart. I don't know if anybody else finds this super satisfying, but look at all this fluff coming off. Of course, like I have been doing this with him the last couple of days, so there isn't actually too much left on him. Um, I'll just go around the other side because then it's a bit of a better angle, but look how cute he is. I just... I still, every time, it's one of those things where every time I look at him, I just can't get over how adorable he is. I think it would be really fun, maybe like this summer or something, to do an in-hand show. Because there, I was thinking there are actually quite a lot of classes he could do, because obviously being a Welshie, he could do a mountain and moorland class. He could do a, um, maybe a Shetlands and miniatures, or like cutest gelding that kind of thing like just for fun i think it would be really good for him to like go out and maybe see a bit of the world go to a party see some other horses um but of course like i'm not gonna go out there and be like duke you must be the best horse ever and win all of the rosettes like that's not my kind of thing when i go out and compete or do showing i just felt like it, he would find it really fun um also like i was told that maybe he probably wouldn't do the best showing wise because of his confirmation i feel like it has got better as he's grown up a little bit um he does have to be um have his hooves done in a special way by the farrier to make sure that his because his legs were a little bit wonky when he was a baby but he seems to be Throwing into them, not too badly, hey mister? You're perfect in my eyes. Yes. So I've just realized that if you're a non-equestrian, a shedding blade does sound, and this does look a little bit uh, severe. So this, you know, I can bounce it on my hand. It, it's it's pretty, pretty light. It just helps get all of his winter coat out because every single morning, first thing I do when I let him out in the field, he either rolls or he scratches himself against like a fence post as he was doing earlier, or the trees as well in the sort of pine forest bit. So um, yeah, I'm basically doing that for him. It probably feels really nice, a bit like a little massage while I give him a groom and he seems very content while I'm getting him nice and comfy and he's having some haylage. So Duke is really out here living his best life. Oh my gosh, it's like it's snowing. I can't believe also how much lighter he's getting. The amount of people also that have messaged me being like, oh my goodness, Duke's gonna go completely white soon. Don't tell me that. That makes me sad. Lots more cleaning to do. <laughs> oh no. To be fair, he has like a bit of a dorsal stripe at the moment. So he does have some pretty cool markings. Yes. I don't know if anybody else has a name for this, but I call it the dandruff tap because basically um, there's lots of dander and dandruff and I goodness knows what on my shedding blade. Or if you use a curry comb as well, I often do this. I just give it a little bit of a tap on the fence and dust and dirt just goes absolutely everywhere. So I should probably give Duke a bath at some point, maybe before our showing show. I feel like I have so much of his hair on my mouth feels disgusting um, but yeah I've never given Duke a full bath before because he is you know a field kept pony so you're not really supposed to bath them very often because you're supposed to leave all the natural oils in their coat time to get you a new brush Duke should we go for this one yeah I promise you that is not food you're giving your little nose a scratch on it oh no no don't chew it you want to chew everything at the moment don't you yes why don't you go and chew your haylage you can chew that <laughs> they're like a little puppy you need like a chew toy or something. All right, let's try and flick off all of the dust and dander that is left in his coat. Like you can see, it's a little bit, a little bit um, dusty, but with a bit of a flick. Oh, that's doing quite a good job actually. I'm just gonna get absolutely filthy today from grooming this boy. Yes. So because we've had Duke nine months, he actually had his six month checkup not too long ago. And I haven't actually talked to you guys about that. So because Duke is owned by World Horse Welfare, I just kind of 
Um, I'm his rehomer, so basically I kind of loan him, but I full-time loan him, you know, he's not going to be taken away from me or go to anyone else unless I don't look after him properly or something happens to me where I can't care for him anymore, like I get ill or anything like that. But he's doing really well, they were really happy with his progress and how he's settled in. And um, I also just need to check up on his weight every now and again to make sure that he doesn't get too tubby because again, as I said before, he is very prone to getting laminitis because of his breeding. So that's when my horses have too much fresh grass it can make them quite poorly um, but anyway he's doing really really well he's actually standing really nice and still yes aren't you no one um, it has been a little bit chaotic today but apart from that he's been such a good boy recently and I'm really looking forward to doing some in-hand work with him very soon I still can't get over how fluffy his mane is. It also looks like as he's growing up, it looks like it's kind of coming darker through. I always get so confused by the colour of Duke's mane because I've never actually washed it before. So I don't know if it's just a little bit dirty or if it's naturally kind of like a Palomino flaxen colour, if that makes sense. Like it is almost beige, um, which is a little bit odd especially as you know he's a grey so he does have quite an unusual colouring at the moment especially with his dorsal stripe so I don't really know what colour I would call him like an iron grey because it's not like he's like Joey because he doesn't have dapples quite yet oh that would be so cute if he gets little dapples hey mister I'm just enjoying him with the colour he is right now because I know if he goes completely white grey if you know what I mean then you're going to be a little, little dirty one, aren't you? You're going to have to do lots of cleaning. But to be fair, when I got Duke, I was like, oh, fourth grade. But then I was also like, he is very small. So there's less, less for me to clean. I feel like that probably wasn't a great decision, but I love him, so it doesn't matter. You're worth all the cleaning, Duke. Yes. Oh, you look so smart. I feel like Duke always looks like 10 times smarter when his mane is brushed. He looks a little bit less like a little wild pony, a little wild mountain pony. Is that what you are? Yes. Duke is the only horse or pony I've ever had to crouch to brush his tail. Obviously I am standing to the side, so, um, and I am crouching, not kneeling, so I can get out of the way if I need to, and I'm not really in the, in the danger zone where the legs are. But um, his tail's usually not too bad to brush, unlike Casper's who, Casper's tail is so thick. I feel like I go on about this every single time, but my goodness, it takes me so long to brush. But Duke's actually like, he's got quite a nice tail. Again, it's kind of like a beigey color. I don't know if I Wash, if I ever wash it, it will be white, or if it's just naturally this kind of colour, a bit like Mickey's, but we'll have to see one day. That'll be quite intriguing if I give him a wash. Oh, you can definitely see that bit's very white, so maybe it is just a bit dirty. And again, you can kind of see that the top of Duke's tail, it's coming through black, if that makes sense, like a blacky grey. Obviously, there are little white bits in it as well to make it grey, but does look very dark and I remember when we first got him it was just like a tiny bit of dark at the top so maybe he isn't going as light okay that's just like false false hope there is me he he will go light one day don't but yeah it is very int intriguing you've got a very beautiful coloring duke mm -hmm. so I've just got my um hoof picking out bucket and I've put it down and Duke has knocked it on the ground and has made a mess which is the opposite of what you're supposed to do probably should have emptied this first but anyway Duke is actually very good to have his hooves picked out he's actually had the farrier a few times since we've had him and he's been very good each time um, but again you know there really isn't much in here but it is just really good training for him to get used to having his hooves picked out because you know it's very good for young horses, although I'm not like working him or I won't be riding him or anything like that. It's really important that they have good ground manners and that's what we're always working towards. I mean, he is very good. You are very good, but you've got to keep on top of things. <laughs> now Duke's getting some broom desensitization. Do you want to chew that as well? You just want to chew everything. Yes. To be fair, he will be losing his baby teeth soon. So that's quite fun. You'll be a gappy boy. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm sweeping it away. All right, so it's now time to do some groundwork with Duke. I have my helmet on because although he's small, uh, if he goes up on his two back legs, 
his hooves can go pretty high around my head level. I also have my gloves on as well because uh, if he does decide to zoom off somewhere, again, this is really highly unlikely, but it's always better to be wearing your safety equipment just in case. Um, you know, I don't want to get rope burn on my hands. But also, you know, Duke is what? Almost three times my weight, I want to say. So if he does want to go somewhere and zoom off, you know, he, I, I'm going to be dragged along, you know. Um, so that's why it's really important to do groundwork with your horses. And although Duke is small, I still need to um, act like he is a 17 hand stallion. Um, because at the end of the day, you see so many small ponies that people laugh about them not having good groundwork. And I don't want to have bratty horses. You know, I want to be able to take Duke out places and him behave himself and have a good relationship with him and a good bond. And I think it's really nice to do groundwork with all horses if they're ridden or not. Um, but Duke, he, he is a very good boy and it's just one of those things because he is still young to keep on top of and it is really good enrichment for him as well. He does really enjoy it. I probably will only do about 10-15 minutes max with him because again he isn't even two yet he is still very young and he's still a bit of a baby you know I don't want to put too much pressure on him um Duke will probably be very different to how you guys last saw him in my working with Duke video that I did oh goodness I don't know when that was <laughs> back in the summer autumn winter anyway Duke has found speed and speed is his new favorite thing he will zoom everywhere him and mickey out in the field when he wants to come in in the evening because that's when he gets his food he wants to run he wants to get to places as quickly as possible so i will probably go out into that arena and you'll be like oh my goodness Duke is on one. Now, that is very different to how he used to be because before um, he'd be a little bit nervous, especially when going to new places or walking around the arena. Every now and again, he'd be a little bit unsure and maybe stop a few times and I have to be really positive with him and give him a lot of encouragement. So it's gonna be a very different training session because I'm gonna be calming him down, getting him to walk and stand when I want to. Um, but if he's very good at the end, we might do some trotting poles because that is one of his favorite things. Um, but we'll have to kind of see how it goes but that is my prediction for today's session what a good boy i think he's a little bit distracted by the camera walking in well done there we go so the first thing i like to do with duke when we enter the arena is give him a good look around so walk him around on both reins because especially as we haven't really done a lot of work recently with me being away the arena can still be a very new and exciting place I then start to work on some ground manners by doing some walk to halt transitions. Sometimes they're amazing and sometimes they still need a bit of work. And stand, oh, stand, stand. No, we don't chew lead ropes. Stand, good boy. And stand, good boy. Okay, walk on. Good man. When working with Duke, I like to give him a lot of positive reinforcement. So when he does things right, he gets a lot of praise. And stand. <gasps> what a good boy. You're being so good. Well on. Okay. Trot on. Okay. Trotting is very exciting. Trot. Ah. No. Good boy. Calm, good boy, and walk. Good man, good boy. So then Duke decided that he really wanted to do some attention seeking by putting both his front legs up in the air. But as you can see, I stayed calm, ignored the behavior and only rewarded the good. So this little guy has a lot of energy and at the moment he just wants to go. So I'm going to free lunch him for a little bit and then we'll come back to work because you just want to zoom. Okay, right man, go. He doesn't know what he wants to do with his life. Go on, run. So you can see I was going to do join up with him, but he's already joined up with me. So, come on then. So join up is when basically you let them have a run around and then they'll come and follow you. He, he already respects me obviously and obviously wants to follow me. So I am his person. 
tell you what, I could do a bit of liberty training with him. He might get a bit distracted. Because I actually have, I don't know when this video will come out, I have a challenge as me liberty coming out soon. And he seems like he definitely wants to work with me and follow me. You know, if he wanted to, he could just go to the edge of the arena and eat some grass. He keeps thinking about going off. But there's a lot for him to take in. He hasn't been in the arena for a little bit, especially free. So he's got a lot of sniffing to do. Good boy. Yes. Come on then. So Duke has found something scary in this corner. So I'm just going to go in it and see if he comes to, oh, there we go. He obviously trusts me. I keep going, oh yeah, I'm going to do this thing. And then he just goes and does it. So you are a very clever baby and a very good baby, yes. I know, see this corner isn't very scary. I don't know if it was the tree moving or the chickens. I know, okay. Well, you're over your fear quite quick, aren't you, mister? Good boy, I'm just gonna do some handstand. Good boy, what a good stand. Okay, walk on. Ah. No. Okay. And walk. Good boy. So he's finding it a little bit less exciting now. Try and do, do it in different places so he doesn't expect it. Good boy. Look at this, guys. Look how relaxed he is and happy. Oh, that's much better, Duke. Look at this. And stand. Good boy. There we go. Although it wasn't perfect, we've made progress in today's session. Stand. What a good man. So Duke is currently doing his suckling thing that you might be able to hear or see. Now this is sort of a submissive thing. So when you do groundwork with a horse, you might see that they start to lick their lips. Um, also he's a baby, so sometimes he does this after he's eaten or after maybe he's chewed on a lead rope. But you can really tell that he is still very young. And I think a lot of people forget that because of his size. They just think, oh, he's small, you know. He's, he's fully grown almost. He's an adult, but he is still very young. We've got a lot of work to do, but you know, two is quite a difficult age for horses. You know, his teeth, he's gonna be um, having his baby teeth fall out. So that's why he's getting quite mouthy. Don't know if he's actually, I should probably have a look at your teeth at some stage, mister. See how they're doing, but then I'll have adult teeth coming through. And it's also really important at this stage that you know they learn that the world doesn't revolve around them. But again, he is still very young and don't want to stress him out too much doing too much work, but it's just a little bit often with youngsters. Hey, and for now and again, but we'll get better. In the session, I was actually pretty proud. We made some progress. There were some more, rather questionable times, but we're getting there, aren't we? Yes. And you're standing rather still very well now yes to end off the session i just worked on getting duke past this filler that he's been a little bit funny with walking past recently good boy well done good boy he started off well but struggled a little bit more when he was nearest to it good boy you're okay you're okay so I decided to go and sit on the filler to show him that it's not scary and let him come up at his own pace. I also had to make sure that my lead rope was tight enough that he wasn't going to trip over it either. I gave Duke enough time to have a good explore, a good investigate and a good sniff. Oh, what was that? What was that? Then after a bit of time, he built up enough confidence to come right up to me. Well done, yes. After that, I decided to finish off the session by walking past it with me nearest to it and then Duke nearest to it. And he was so good. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Good walking. Good walking. Well done, Duke. Well done. Well done. And just like that, at the end of the session, he acted like it wasn't even there. 
good boy and stand. What a good boy. We'll leave it there, shall we? Walk past it absolutely perfectly. It goes to show with a bit of patience and time. You can really get that with young horses and that's why I love working with them because it's so rewarding. What a good boy, you're so good. So good. Well done. Oh, there we go, Duke. You're a very good boy. I like to give him treats at the end of the session when he knows he's done and back in the yard rather than in the arena because sometimes horses can get a little bit treat aggressive at times if they expect it all the time. So I prefer to give him positive reinforcement out there by scratches and praise, saying good boy. Yes. But anyway, it goes to show that um, with horses, you know, it's not all about riding them. You can really form a bond and that was really satisfying, although it wasn't perfect. That is the closest we've ever got to that rainbow fella and he was really really good so you know there were times that were a bit questionable but overall it was a positive session and we made some progress well done Duke I think he definitely deserves to go back out on the field now and do some processing of all that excitement yes all right Duke you really are trying to help me out aren't you yes it's a shame you don't have little arms if not I'd be like you can help me out Oh, Mickey's, Mickey's adding to the pile. We'll go around there. A fresh poo. Save me a slice. <laughs> My guys, why are you? What, is it because the camera's out? You guys just want to chill with me? Duke, you, you're trying to chew the fork. You'd think they'd go down the bottom where the grass is, because it looks like an absolute desert here. I promise they do have some grass. So around every other day, we give them a little bit more grass. They actually have like a lunchtime haylage net because there isn't too much grass on here, but weight management of these two is really, really important for their health. But we do give them a little bit of, little bit of the long luscious grass the other side every now and again. The fence is on, probably should have turned off for this, but there we go. They know they're gonna go straight to it. Give them a little bit more paddock. Well, that was a little bit more chaotic than I was expecting. I definitely need to do a lot more groundwork with Duke, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the progress. Just want to say, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know so many of you guys have been asking for a Duke update as well, and I had a lot of fun filming it. So if you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.